On January 11th, the U.S. Supreme Court heard opening arguments to its pending decision on Fredericks versus California Teachers Association. The ruling on this case will have a significant impact on your pay, health benefits, and voice on the job. This is the first of a four-part video series about how the case will affect us as state employees and what MAPE is doing to prepare for the ramifications of the ruling. Here's what you need to know about the case. Rebecca Fredericks and eight other teachers are suing their union. This small group disagrees with their union and believes union represented employees should have an option to pay no dues yet have access to all the benefits the union provides, such as contract bargaining and representation. Half of states in the U.S. have laws establishing mandatory fair share fees that employees pay to unions. Minnesota is one of them. These laws prohibit fair share fees from going towards political expenses. Given the makeup of the Supreme Court, most legal experts believe the union will lose this case. The court will probably eliminate fair share fees. Now imagine that MAPE is forced to represent the same number of employees while only collecting dues from members who choose to pay. The services we provide would change drastically. But why should you care? Because, for example, our recent success in Minnesota becoming the first state in America to adopt an anti-bullying policy and the momentum on paid parental leave wouldn't be possible without a great deal of resources. Resources that would diminish if people chose not to pay their union dues. And how would we have the resource to negotiate our contract and work for its legislative approval? This case is really about politics. Corporate interests want to reduce pay and benefits for working people while trying to gain political power in the political process. Weakening the voice of unions and working families makes it easier for a handful of wealthy corporations and individuals to elect candidates and write laws to their own benefit. Over the next few weeks, we'll have more information coming your way about the case and MAPE's efforts to prepare for and respond to it. Be sure to check out next week's e-newsletter for the second video in this series, where you'll hear from MAPE's legal counsel, Greg Corwin, as he delves into more details about the court case. You won't want to miss this.